Hello everyone and welcome back to the series of Hard Disk Drives Solve Problems. In this session, we will see a couple of more linked questions. These questions will certainly strengthen our concepts on hard disk drives. So, without any further ado, let's get to learning. Consider this question. A hard disk has 63 sectors per track. 10 platters each with two recording surfaces and 1000 cylinders. The address of a sector is given as a triple CHS, where C is the cylinder number, H is the surface number, and S is the sector number. Thus, the zeroth sector is addressed as 000, and the first sector is addressed as 001, and so on. Now, there are two questions pertaining to this particular concepts. We will solve them one by one. However, before beginning the solution, let's understand this particular organization. So, the disk has 63 sectors per track, 10 platters each with two recording surfaces and 1000 cylinders. Suppose this is our disk pack. Now, here, there are 10 platters. So, this entire disk pack is comprised of 10 platters. Now, each platter has two recording surfaces and there are 10 such platters. Therefore, altogether there are 20 surfaces. Now, the next specification is 1000 cylinders. So, the entire disk pack has 1000 cylinders. That means, there are 1000 tracks in each platter. Basically, all the tracks in one arm position are cylinders. So, since there are 1000 tracks in each platter, therefore there are 1000 cylinders. Now, the triple was mentioned as C, H, and S, where C is the cylinder number, H is the surface number, and finally S is the sector number. Now, let's observe a single platter. If we consider 000, that is the first sector, this one's address is 000. Now, why is so? Think about it. This is the first cylinder, that is the zeroth cylinder. Then, this also is the zeroth surface, that is the first surface. Now, the next surface is on the other side of this one. Now, 001 will address the second sector, that is the sector numbered 1. And, 002 will address the next sector. And similarly, since there are 63 sectors in each track, the last sector will be 0062 because 0 to 62 is altogether 63. Now, after the sector number 62, the next, that is the sector number 63, will be on the other surface, that is the surface number 1. So, for that, it will have to go to the zero cylinders, surface number 1, that is the other side of the surface. Then again, starting from 0163, the next 63 sectors will be in the same surface and the last sector of that particular surface will be 125. Like this, after all the 20 surfaces, because there are 10 platters, each platter has 2 surfaces, so that amounts to 20 surfaces. After all the 20 surfaces are filled, the next sector will go to the next cylinder. So, this is how this triple will help us address each of the sectors. Now, there are 63 sectors per track. And then again, 10 multiplied by 2, that means 20 surfaces per platter and per cylinder. Now, why is so? If we consider the platter, all the tracks will be a single surface. And if we consider the cylinder only, all the 63 sectors will be a surface. So, there are 20 surfaces per platter and per cylinder. Therefore, in each of the cylinders, there will be 10 multiplied by 2 into 63 sectors. And there are 1000 such cylinders. Therefore, 1000 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 2, that means those many surfaces, multiplied by the number of sectors in each surface, this will give us the total number of sectors in the entire disk. Now, the first question was, the address 41629 corresponds to the sector number. Basically, we have to find out 
the sector number which is addressed by this particular triple. Now let's solve that. Now 400 means the cylinder numbered 400. That means in order to get to the cylinder numbered 400, we will have to cross the cylinders 0 to 399. Because if you remember, in the triple, all the units were starting from 0. Now these 400 cylinders will have 20 surfaces. And in each of the surface, it will have 63 sectors. That means, when we are crossing these many cylinders, we are actually crossing 5,4,000 sectors. Now, after reaching the cylinder number 400, we are supposed to go to the surface number 16. Now, in order to get to the surface number 16, we have to cross 0 to 15, that means 16 surfaces. And each of the 16 surfaces will have 63 sectors in them, so that amounts to 1008 sectors. Now, once we are at the surface number 16, thereafter we will proceed to the sector number 29. Now, in order to get to the sector number 29, we will have to cross 0 to 28, that means 29 sectors. Therefore, in order to get to this particular address, we will have to cross 5,4,000 plus 1,008 plus 29 sectors. So, the address 416.29 corresponds to the sector number 5,5037. So, for the question number 1, the option C is the correct choice. Now, let's move to the question number 2. The address of 1039 sector is, so this is the sector number, that is 1039, and we need to find out the address from these options. Now, what we will do, we will take each of the options and check whether that corresponds to this particular sector number or not. Now, coming to option number A, we are at the zeroth cylinder, that means we are covering 0 multiplied by 10, that is 10 platters, and each of the platter has 2 surfaces in that, and each of the surface has 63 sectors in them. Now, since we are at the zeroth cylinder itself, so from the cylinder, we are not going to get any number of sectors to be crossed, because it is the first cylinder. Then again, in order to get to the surface number 15, we will have to cross 0 to 14, that means 15 surfaces, and each of the 15 surfaces will have 63 tracks in each of them that will amount to 945 sectors. Now, after reaching the surface number 15, in order to get to the sector number 31, we will have to cross 0 to 30, that means 31 sectors. So, in total, 0 plus 945 plus 31, that means 976. So, this address 0, 15, 31, corresponds to the sector number 976. Clearly, it's not our option. Let's consider the option number B. Here, we are in the zeroth cylinder, so there are no sectors to count from the cylinders. Now, in order to get to the surface number 16, we will have to cross 0 to 15, that means 16 surfaces, and each of the surface will have 63 sectors in them, which amounts to 1008 sectors. Well, after reaching the surface number 16, in order to get to the sector number 30, we will have to cross 0 to 29, that means 30 sectors. So, in total, 0 plus 1008 plus 30, that means 1038. So, this particular address corresponds to the sector number 1038. Well, this is also not our option because we are finding the address for the sector number 1039. Let's consider the option number C. Now, in case of C, if you observe, we are still in the zeroth cylinder, so there will be no sectors to count from the cylinders. Now, in order to get to the 16th surface, we will cross the same number of sectors, that means 1008. Now, after reaching the surface number 16, in order to get to the sector number 31, we will have to cross 0 to 30, that is 31 sectors. So, in total, 0, plus 1008 plus 31, that is 1039. Yes, this is our choice. That means, this particular address 
corresponds to the sector number 1039. However, since we are observing all the options one by one, let's observe the last one as well in order to observe what sector number does it correspond. So, since we are in the zero cylinder, we have no sectors to cross. Then in order to get to the surface number 17, we will have to cross 0 to 16, that is 17 surfaces. Each of the surface has 63 tracks in them. So, that amounts to 1071 sectors. Now, finally, after reaching the surface number 17, in order to get to the sector number 31, we will have to cross 0 to 30, that means 31 sector. So, in total, 0 plus 1071 plus 31, that is 1102. So, this particular address corresponds to the sector number 1102. Therefore, for the second question, the option C, that is 0, 16, 31, is the correct choice. All right, people, that will be all for this session. In the next session, we will solve some more numerical problems pertaining to the hard disk drives. So, I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.